Greetings! This video is going to be an explanation of the test that I did with the TCS3200 uh, color sensor, the one over here. Um, so yeah, I th um, in previous uh, um, video when I had a, uh, had a look at the sensor, I thought uh, it was quite... Uh, I was getting quite quite mixed results with different uh, different colors and whatnot. Uh, so I wanted to create a repeatable pattern uh, conditions that I can you know test it and see how repeatable the results from this are and and so on and so forth so um, so I've made this little thing um, what it is it's uh, yet another uh, Skittles sorting uh, machine um, that I've made out of uh, just random bits lying around and yeah, it, it works actually um, so with some uh, there is some uncleverness uh, around this sensor so it does get a, a little bit mixed results with some of the colors, but with a little bit of um, software averaging and whatnot, um, I was able to get quite repeatable conditions, uh, quite repeatable results. So overall, um, I guess the test was successful. Um, I've sorted through the pack of skills a couple of times and uh, it's in the end it worked really well. So yeah, this is gonna go. Uh, go on a shelf maybe at one point I'll uh, I'll use it again when I want to sort some more skittles out um, but for the time being uh, before I put it away I might as well um, give you a quick tour on how I made it so um, yeah the whole thing is made out of wood um, I've just had uh, a few pieces of uh, soft uh, soft wood lying around and uh, mainly what I've used is this thin uh, strip wood and I've cut it to different lengths and whatnot. Um, in terms of uh, electronics I've got um, I've got the ULN 2003 um, stepper driver and a stepper hobby stepper with a gear reduction over here and that's uh, moving the the arm left and right um, it does does the job reasonably um, it's it's torquey enough to uh, you know to put the flap uh, away and counteract the the, the spring. Um, I've just used a piece of uh, plastic uh, plastic tube that I've heated up and pressed onto the stud on the uh, on the motor. So um, that's all that is holding to it. Then later on to hold it, I've put some epoxy on top of it. Um, this is the the drop mechanism. Um, so this um, this came out of a, in one of my previous teardowns. This was in uh, in the in the scanner that uh, that I took apart on camera, and uh, this was uh, actuating in the, a flap uh, that was um, inside the scanner assembly. Now this is a 12 volt uh, coil, 12 volt actuator. And uh, now I've got only 5 volts on the Arduino, and I've I've managed to. Um, I tested it and with 5 volts it only just about about pulls in uh, but it needed a proper 5 volt uh, external supply I mean when I tried to power it up from the Arduino board it it it, it would it was not uh, every time it was unrepeatable so it was uh, it was getting stuck so I've had to apply and for the motor and for this uh, I applied an external 5 volt uh, but it does it just right uh, with this and I've literally just put a little toothpick pin over here to keep it straight and attached a piece of wire, a piece of copper wire with a tape to a black piece of uh, paper that's wedged in between uh, two pieces of foam board that was the other material that I used to make it this is an example of I made a couple of those when I was making them when I was making this um, so yeah it's literally just a piece of foam board with a circle cut out in it I've got two of those wedged uh, together with a gap uh, right in between. Uh, now to make the gap I'll just put two pieces of tooth, uh, toothpick um, on the edges and then glued everything. Um, I found that the wood glue, something like this, works really well with uh, with wood and uh, foam board and anything other. It dries relatively quickly but it, uh, it gives really strong bonds so uh, this was really really handy to use this type of glue. Um, later on I've put, uh, used a sharpie to make this all black to help 
uh, reduce the reflection. I mean, black absorbs all the wavelengths, so it was. Uh, I think the results were a little bit clear when uh, when this was black. Um, the movement of the uh, of the drop mechanism isn't big enough to cover the whole uh, hole where it drops the the skittle, uh, but when when it's half half covered the skittle won't drop through so it's just about enough to hold it and to drop it when it when it fully opens that's uh, that kind of works and yeah that's uh, that's what I had um, hanging around so I, I kind of made it work um, let me put this back on so what else is on here um, I used two transistors that those are just two and uh, double two double two. Um, one here and one I've mounted. Can okay, you see it? There it is. A little bit unfocused, but you get the gist of it. Um, so those just take um, signal from Arduino to either actuate the uh, the shoot or to actuate the motor uh, with the little steering steering stick. So because I use the bottle as a uh, as a shoot as a container for for all the skittles I was finding that every once in a while two of them would get stuck right in the middle and won't pass through so it needed something just to uh, wobble them around and I've experimented with a few different um, lengths and types of steering sticks but this kind of work just best when uh, I've just cut the plastic pipe in half and one is uh, angled down uh, one side and the other one goes up this was making the best effect. Uh, it was I was not getting any stuck parts uh, afterwards, and this is just a random motor um, that I've pulled out of I don't know what something. Um, yeah, um, one more thing, uh, a switch. So this has to be. It's it's all driven by a stepper motor, but every once in a while, the stop the stepper motor will uh, lose its. Um, lose this position it will miss a step or something else will happen and if that would uh, if that was to happen it would have no uh, point of reference to find out where it is so uh, basically the way I wrote the code for this uh, which uh, I think I'll the final version uh, that I use for this I'll probably post it somewhere in the um, in the paste bin or somewhere and put a link it in the description but um, the way I did it is when 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 this first starts up, Arduino will uh, control the motor to keep going left um, until uh, this switch uh, pulls one of the pins low. So basically, uh, it will keep going up until this moment. It's directly under the chute, and when this is popped in, it knows that it's in the center position. So from there onwards, um, Arduino sends out a command: move. Uh, I think it was 128 steps. And that moves it uh, right under the uh, color sensor, then another 128 steps, and so on. Uh, it was remembering positions to drop each uh, each each candy into different uh, containers. Now, when it drops, uh, it would have opened the chute, and again the loop keep going counterclockwise until we uh, see the pin being pulled low. Uh, so that that kind of every uh, every cycle it just drops the uh, drops the skittle away, um, and dro every well, every cycle it resets its position. So every time it gets a skittle, it gets under the chute. It knows this is the definitely the, the right position, and then from there onwards it can calculate how many steps forward, and then when it goes back it resets again. So it's uh, it's kind of uh, kind of works. Um, now this was uh, quite a few attempts to make this work so what you see here um, is I've used a piece of foam board to make um, a shoot um, a, a, I don't know a, a gate or a, something that would stop skittles falling out when when this is not underneath this um, so what I did I used again a piece of foam board and I put a this is uh, just a piece of chopstick that I've uh, drilled a hole and put it into um, into the side of wood and uh, this is one of Lumbans and I've cut two little slots and put two 
uh, two washers that were just the right size. I think they're M5 washers, uh, M5 penny washers, and the uh, loom band is actually pulling this back all the time, but uh, the motor had enough force to put it away when it was approaching the uh, the bottle to receive another candy. Um, so yeah, in terms of mechanicals, that's that's all there is to it. It's really simple, but it was. Uh, it's really fun to watch actually when it does its thinking and 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 whatnot. Um, I had to implement a couple of uh, things in the code to um, recognize uh, different states. So one of the th in apart from rec recognizing and learning five different colors of skill, um, I made it also remember uh, the color of a blank uh, uh, blank arm so just this without any skill it would remember this as well and recognize this as uh, a failed pickup so if it detects that it will come back and instead of going forward trying to uh, receive something it will go straight back under the uh, under the bottle try to receive another skill now if it's received uh, no skittle in five, five consecutive times um, that would trigger uh, empty bottle um, routine so it would basically uh, return to this position and switch off and it was going into a uh, do nothing loop in the code so you would just stick here and not do anything um, until you press reset and then it starts again and uh, that was just to stop it from going back when back and forward when uh, when the skate was finished um, and also um, if it recognized that there was a skittle, but uh, it wouldn't match any color conditions. I had the sixth uh, container on right at the end, so this was the reject bin. So um, every once in a while, despite all the efforts to make it uh, repeatable and easy, it something sometimes goes wrong. Sometimes the skittle has a chip on its. Uh, on its uh, shell and it's slightly off color uh, particularly with the dark uh, purple color it was quite inconsistent so it w there was uh, depending on the layer of the coating on on the on the candy it was uh, picking up slightly different values so uh, in a whole pack maybe four or five skittles wouldn't match uh, any pattern that was uh, that was learned so then that would basically go all the way uh, to the end and get dropped to the reject bin yeah, it was really fun to build and I've seen tens of different uh, Skittle machines uh, on the internet and they're really mesmer mesmerizing to watch. So, um, yeah, I always wanted to make one and I guess this was an opportunity uh, to have some fun with the color sensor, the TCS3200. Um, and yeah, uh, cool little project. I showed it to a couple of my friends and everyone liked it and reacted with a smile. So I guess uh, I, I conclude that as a... Uh, positive review. Uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please uh, give me thumbs up uh, and subscribe for more random electronics content. Um, I'll probably, I'm not too sure yet, but I'll probably uh, link the full, uh, I don't know if there's like half a minute or a minute or so of this uh, going back and forward, but uh, yeah, uh, enjoy the show and thanks for watching. Take care.